Well, weather wise today we are on tap for a pretty nice day. We're going to start off with mostly sunny skies, but then as we head towards the afternoon, we are going to continue to see some cloud cover building in. You can see just off to our west on the satellite and radar. There is some showers. Uh, we'll see a little bit of that come into our area, but they're going to be light and spotty in nature by the time we see that coming in later on tonight. But mainly today we're going to just be looking at some high clouds. Now, the real big weather story across the country is a tornado outbreak that has happened across portions of the Midwest. We saw several tornado reports, lots of devastating video and photos coming out from the Midwest across portions of Nebraska and Kansas and even down into Texas yesterday. And unfortunately for those folks over there, it's not going to be ending anytime soon. We are going to be looking at another round of severe weather coming across that area once again as we head towards today. Right now on the satellite and radar, it looks looking quiet, but we did have over 100 tornadoes reported just over the last 48 hours across portions of the Midwest, especially over in Nebraska, down into Kansas and into Missouri and Iowa. And now the severe weather threat for today is shifting slightly more to the south. We're going to be seeing a moderate risk for severe weather, which is a four out of five on that severe weather scale. Now keep in mind yesterday during yesterday's tornado outbreak, there was only an enhanced risk. This area shaded in brown. So even in cross portions of Kansas getting into Oklahoma and Texas, there's even a higher risk for severe weather. So there's definitely going to be another round of tornadoes as we head into the rest of the day today. So unfortunately for those folks out there, the severe weather is not quite over just yet. As we head into tomorrow, the severe weather threat shifts a little bit more towards the east and it does start to fall apart a little bit more. So the severe weather threat does go down to a slight risk, which is a two out of five on that severe weather scale. Now, as we take a look at the rest of the day today, we are going to continue to see um, a cold front coming through across our area. This is what's really bringing the severe weather across portions of the west. We have a warm front that's going to be working into our area. That's what's going to bring in some warmer conditions as well as some cloud cover as we head into the rest of the day today. But again, that cold front off to our north and off to our west is going to continue to bring rounds of showers, thunderstorms, and severe weather across portions of the Midwest. Whereas here in Western Mass, we are going to remain on the warmer side, but we are going to be remaining a little bit on the unsettled side. Of course, nothing compared to what they're dealing with out there. And the upper levels of the atmosphere, this is also part of the reason why we're going to be unsettled. We have a ridge building in across the Northeast. What that means is we have a rise in the jet stream, and we are going to be looking at some significantly warmer air. In fact, as we head into Monday and Tuesday, we could be taking a run at the 70s and into the 80s as well. But we are on the edge of that ridge. So what that means is we are going to be continuing to see wet weather kind of riding along it and we are going to remain a little bit on the unsettled side as we head into Monday and Tuesday. But at least we are going to be relatively warm. In fact, our average high for this time of year is only 65 degrees. By Monday, we could be taking a run at the middle upper 70s, perhaps even touching 80 if we can see a decent amount of sunshine. We have a cold front that's going to come through. Temperatures come down a little bit closer to normal for Tuesday and Wednesday, but we are going to be rebounding pretty quickly as we head towards the end of next week, getting back into the 70s. For today, though, we're starting off with mostly sunny skies. Temperatures are going to come up into the middle 60s. We're going to continue to see increasing clouds throughout the day. We'll stay dry. After the sun goes down, we do look to have the chance for a few light spotty showers that look to come into our area as temperatures fall back down into the 40s. So we are going to continue to see increasing clouds throughout the day. I do think this future cast model is kind of a little overdone in terms of how we're going to be looking at the rainfall, but we could see a few light spotty showers heading into tonight and we'll see that lingering into tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is going to be a relatively dry day, but we are going to be expecting to see a little bit of some unsettled weather as we head into Sunday night and even into Monday as well. We are going to dry things out as we head into the first half of Tuesday. We have a cold front that's going to come through on Tuesday. Temperatures come down to 70 and then we are going to be looking at the chance for a few showers and thunderstorms dry for Wednesday and Thursday before shower chances increase once again for Friday and Saturday of next week.